know that. But, you know, ever, you know Gabe, Gabe uh, Sapolsky, I don't know how to say his last name, but he left. Now he's with Dragon Gate and Evolve, which is good for him. That's awesome. Um, but, you know, now David Marquez and Adam Piercings have their greasy little fingers on Ring of Honor. And, and, and boy, are they turning it into shit? And it pisses me off. It really does. Because, you know, I hear David Marquez, he, he loves tradition. He's all about the tra He hates that wrestling evolved. He wants to go back to the oldies, which is fine. If he wants to run his own promotion uh, to be like the old, the old school way, that, that's completely fine. He could do whatever the fuck he wants with his old fit. But don't you fucking dare touch Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor is not fucking yours, all right? And if you are going to take over Ring of Honor, leave, keep it what made it great for the wrestling fans. Wrestling fans don't love that shit that you put on at WrestleMania. It was complete fucking shit. You had Necro fucking Butcher in an Anywhere Goes match. What, nothing happened. Anything went, but nothing fucking happened. You know what we saw in the Necro Butcher? And in anything, Necro Butcher, one of the craziest motherfuckers, most hardcore motherfuckers I've seen, in our Anywhere Goes match where the only weapon I saw used was a sign. And, and we saw Necro Butcher in a bear fucking hug for fucking, like, felt like forever. That's Necro Butcher in an Anywhere Goes match? Fuck that shit. And then you have talented stars, talented fucking guys like Jerry Lynn, uh, uh, you know, Kenny King, hell, Joe, you know, SoCal star Joey Ryan, and you even had international stars, Jushin Thunder Liger. You had, it was an all-star Ring of Honor cast, but all the matches fucking blew with the exception of Tornado and Kevin Steen. And you know why it sucked? It wasn't an off night for the wrestlers. No, the wrestlers weren't the fucking problem. You know what the fucking problem was? The bookers! The bookers restructured the whole show, you know, th th with this type of structuring, that was fucking, you know, they, they, they restructured it where it's like they don't just let them go out and do their thing. Now now it's like, no, uh, you know, the first match, uh, we, we want we you know, it to be a 10-minute match. And, uh, you know, no dives, no this, no that, you know, because later on we want to save it. And, you know, blah, blah, blah. They're, they're telling the wrestlers how to, how to run their matches and this. And it's, it's fucking bullshit because these are all talented guys who have done way more than what the fuck these fucking bookers have. But they're telling them how to do their own. It's like, why would you tell... Why would you tell them to suck it up? Why would you tell them to suck up the joint? You know, it's like, just let them go out there and wrestle. That's what we pay to go see in Ring of Honor, dude. And they're talented guys. Like I said, they're not, they're not like, you know, rookies who you kind of need structure. No, they, they, they fucking know what they're doing out there. Oh, God. And every, oh. Oh, and then to top it off, I don't know whose genius idea this was, but they book fucking, uh, how you say, they book, uh, uh, Scotty Tuhati against Larry Zabisco, the, 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 the ultimate dream match that the, 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 no one was dying to see. No one was dying to see that. Whose idea was that? In a Ring of Honor show? I mean, was that match supposed to be a joke? I, don't, I didn't get it. W was it supposed to be for real? Was it supposed to be a real contest between Scotty Tuhati and Larry Zabisco? I mean, I, I respect Larry Zabisco in hell. You know, Scotty Tuhati, yeah, he used to be a big star, but fuck. Who would have ever thought to put those two fuckers together? Who thought that was going to draw money? Besides, people who are going to go and think, oh, this must be a fucking joke. That's what I thought it was. I thought it must have been a joke. And I treated it as such. And everyone shit on that match. And rightfully so. Why would you book that at a Ring of Honor show? Wh what? Oh, God. It was an abortion of a fucking match. Oh. And then on top of that, on top of the kicker, the, here's the kicker. The, the bottom ring rope breaks and, and that fucking ring of theirs, okay? And, 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 you know, look, that shit happens at wrestling shows. So, yeah, sometimes the ring breaks. You know, it hap it's happened to everybody. It's even happened at one of my shows. I, I had a show one time where our bottom uh, ring rope broke. And, you know, we had to wrestle the whole show without it. Uh, so it happens. I'm not blaming them that it happened. But, fuck, they took, like, what felt like forever to just, uh, uh, it took five people to stand in that ring post just looking at the fucking thing, you know, and none of them go, gets on the mic and says, you know, we're sorry, we're, we're going to try to get the, you know, no, none of, no apologies to the fans, because us as fans, since it's Ring of Honor, we're supposed to just fucking accept that shit. We're supposed to just take that shit. Well, no, fuck that. I was there, and I was yelling that shit at them. I was like, fix that fucking ring, or fucking, or take it the fuck off, take that fucking rope off, and wrestle the rest of the show without it. Or leave it the fuck on there and just let it be loose. I didn't pay 50 fucking dollars to watch fucking Adam Pierce dance that Fresh Prince of Bel-Air song. I didn't fucking pay to, to fucking sit there for 20 minutes without a, a, a goddamn care from you fuckers. 
to watch you guys sit there and stare at a fucking ring rope. You either fucking take the rope off, you fucking leave it there and let it be loose, or you fucking, you fucking, I don't know. But you at least tell the fans what's up. Don't just leave us hanging there, you fucking morons, you fucking inconsiderate bastards. I didn't pay 50 fucking bucks to sit there and see you fucking look at and stare at a fucking ring rope, you fucking morons. And then, and then when us fans get vocal and, and shout shit at Adam Pierce, he has a nerve to shout back at us. Yeah, because it's our fault that we want to see fucking wrestling action and your show has been shit. Yeah, it's our, it's our fault. Yeah, yell at us. You're fucking hard for paying fucking fans, you stupid fucking retards. <sighs> and, uh, oh, God. And, and, and you know, the, the, only, the only cool thing, the only redeeming thing about that was that we got to see Human Tornado dance to, 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 to beat it. That, that was cool. That was cool. And then, and then Kevin Steen ran out and fucking and murdered him again. That, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. All right? That, that was cool. That was good. But God, dude. And then the rest of the show was just, you know, every match, it seemed like every match went to the outside, brawled for a little bit, and then it went back to the, 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 uh, the psychology that we, we're not looking for in Ring of Honor. You don't go to Ring of Honor to, to, to look for the best ring psychology. All right? <sighs> oh, God. And in case any of you out there, or thinking I might be a little bit too harsh in Ring of Honor, or, or you know the work the wrestlers involved. I'm not like I said. I'm not blaming the wrestlers involved in that show. It wasn't their fucking fault. It's the fucking new buckers. Because like I said, David Marquez wants to keep everything on his vision, which is tradition, which is old school. And like I said, if he wants to run his old, if, you know, stick to NWA, David Marquez. You know, stick stick to that. Don't ruin Ring of Honor, cause that's not yours. You didn't create that. Leave it to the people who love it, all right? Leave it the fuck alone. You're not making it better. You're making it suck. So why I'm saying it's not the wrestler's fault because these same wrestlers went out on PWG the next night and had a great show. The PWG show was awesome. That's what that Ring of Honor show should have been, but it wasn't. PWG knows how to book a show. They know their audience. They know their fans, and they know what their fans want to see. David Marquez doesn't give a shit what the fans want to see because, oh, well, it's not part of that old school tradition, you know? Here I am standing here with the former NWA champion, Adam Pierce. Adam Pierce, you know, what do you got to say uh, since you lost the belt to Blue Demon? Well, what do you think I got to say? You know, it's, 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 oh, God. <sighs> Leave Ring of Honor alone. Tradition, old school wrestling, I'm sorry, it's dead. All right? You have to let it evolve. That's why wrestling is in the state it's in. All right? Because you have these guys who, who, who you know, and granted, I'm not saying don't disrespect. I mean, I respect tradition. I respect the Ric Flairs, the Dusty Rhodes, every, everyone that paved the way for how wrestling is now. I respect each and every one of them. But that doesn't mean that I want to go and see old school shit. It's all about new. It's all about evolving. God fucking damn it. ECW got it and that's why they're fucking successful. Why doesn't anyone else get that? Why doesn't anyone understand that? How is it such a fucking hard concept to grasp? You give the fans what they want, they'll give you something right back. That's all it is. It's so fucking simple. And no one fucking does it. You know, WWE puts on shows for shareholders now, not the fans, for shareholders. Because that's who they got to answer to ever since it became public. You know, TNA, uh, you know, TNA's trying, but they're still not getting it. But, they're, but I give them props, they're trying. And I already did my rant on Ring of Honor and everything else. It's like, uh, let the old school shit go. That's like, that's like... Nirvana coming out and revolutionizing and then some and revolutionizing the whole music industry and then they get a new lead singer and they feel that oh we have to sing like the how fucking body Buddy Holly did and you know we're gonna change our style up to Buddy Holly it's like you're not helping it anything you know what I mean it's like ah are you is are, is everyone retarded like oh god dude as a wrestling fan I'm pissed. Because, like I said, you had ECW, which is the glowing light, the revolutionary thing. And then it's like you have... Uh, it's like, uh, pro wrestling is like the only... I see one of the few things that refuses to evolve. And why? You know, like, it's 2010 now. It's not 1960. Territories are gone. It's different now, dude. Let it go. You know, with your NWA, let the NWA fucking die already, dude. Stop cleaning on to the end. Stop. Let's let it rest in peace. Stop trying.